Uh, on my game, I was working most of my ball handling, uh, just to be able to, you know, push the ball in position, uh, set the plays, uh, being able to get everybody involved. Even my playmaking was about to be better if I get better with my ball handling. So yeah, that's what I was working on the most. And when you look back at the Olympic experience, I understand you've been showing off your 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 Olympic medal and all that. But what do you what do you think you took from that experience that can help you moving forward as an NBA player? Probably just uh, staying ready, you know, because there is some games I was playing, some games I was not. Uh, so uh, yeah, just staying ready, staying in the moment. Uh, it helped me do a pretty good game in the finals. So yeah, I say this. Hey, Bilal, Varn Junker with the Washington Post. Okay. You started last season shooting the ball really well, and it kind of tailed off as it went on. What do you think led into that, and what did you try and work on with regard to the shot? I mean, it was probably uh, having, like, 82 games. Uh, it was just tough at some point, like, mentally, uh, even my body. I was not feeling, like, right all the time. So now I know what's going to happen. Uh, I know how to take care of my body, and, uh, yeah, we'll be better. What does that look like, learning how to take care of your body better? Um, just like, you know, having, uh, like the time to rest, uh, taking care of like doing treatments, uh, and everything. So, uh, yeah, being in a weight room, uh, that's it. How nice is it having two other guys who speak French on the team now with Alex and Keyshawn? Easy, easy. Uh, we can talk trash to other guys in French. They won't understand. So yeah, it's fun. Hey, Bilal. Um, so this year, we don't know what the starting five might look like, but there's a solid chance that you could be a, st a starter consistently throughout the year. How do you wrap your head around that just for the first time in your career being a consistent starter in the NBA for potentially the whole season? Uh, I mean, that's a great question. I was not even thinking about it. I was just, you know, uh, trying to do my job as soon as I step on the court, uh, being ready to, like, defensively, being locked in, offensively, uh, helping the team. So, uh, yeah. And how can you personally, going into your second year, help different players like the rookies, like Sark, Keyshawn, and Bub, integrate into the NBA? What can you do to help yeah. them? Yeah, I'm trying to talk to them a lot about taking care of your bodies because uh, my season last year ended like quicker than I thought it was by the hand. So, uh, yeah, just take care of your bodies, you know, uh, rest, uh, do treatments. Uh, I know when you're young, you think like, I'm good, my body not going to fall off, like I'm not old and everything, but it happens. So, yeah, just helping them on that. Hey, Bilal. Hey. Um, if you can, can you take me back to the Olympic experience and what it was like for you being at home, playing on that stage, being able to come away with a medal in front of that crowd and just what that whole experience encompassed for you at such a young age? Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, being at home, like my family was able to come see uh, like every games. Uh, yeah, just had fun, you know. Uh, like I said, I was playing, I was not playing. It was just a great experience. So uh, I was not worried about that. Um, like family was proud. Uh, came back with a medal, like you say. So uh, yeah, couldn't be more happy for real. Christy Winter Scott, Monumental Sports Network. When you are playing pickup and and playing with this new group. What sense do you have of the personality of this team so far? I love it. Uh, the young guys is just come in and uh, they they want to win for real. So uh, it's just like there is more com competitiveness at the practices. Uh, guys are just locked in offensively, defensively, trying to get stops and everything. So uh, yeah, I just love the way we're starting. I know as of earlier this summer, you. You didn't know Alex Sar all that well, and you guys mm -hmm. hadn't really played together. So now that you've been in the gym with gym with him the last few weeks and months, what are your impressions, and especially you know, maybe as the duo that you guys could form defensively? Oh, I love it. Uh, a lot of Lance, uh, you know, uh, me and him. Uh, he was blocking shots like crazy during practices, so I love to see it. Uh, yeah, defensively it can be like a real thing. Uh, we can store something like great in the in the organization so uh yeah i feel like we're just going to be locked in on that well after getting kind of thrown in last year and just guarding everybody um how do you build on what you learned from last year in terms of not just the physicality but how the game is officiated how you can use your your feet as opposed to your hands and all of the the tricks of the trade defensively I learned a lot uh, during the beginning of the season and end of the season. Uh, during season, like my teammates were talking to me a lot. There was something that you can't do in uh, Europe that you can't hear. So uh, and uh, so yeah, a lot of changes, you know. Uh, and um, I like it. I mean, I like the the rules here. Uh, it's, it helps a lot uh, sometimes, <laughs> not every time, but yeah, um, it's just like uh, you know, it's not 
nothing complicated. It's just uh, easy. You just got to do your job for real. What do you think you will be improved up a pot? What will you improve at defensively, do you think, this season? Uh, probably leading the group uh, a lot more, just talking, uh, vocal, being vocal a lot more, uh, being able to help the guys because, uh, like I said, last year I was uh, like, Defense, the playing defense on the every best guy in the opposing team. So, yeah, I'll be able to help them on that. Uh, as a as a follow up, you said you know it's harder to talk on the court in in Europe. But why is that? Why, why is that different in the NBA? You said what? Sorry. I think you said the commu it's communication is different when you play in Europe compared to the. No, the NBA. some rules are different. But I'm trying to like like I said, I'm trying to talk a lot more uh, defensively, being a leader, uh, help him. Uh, like when I see somebody's not in a good spot, just help him through that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, last year, a lot of guys were giving you rides to the practice facility. Has there been any movement on you trying to get your driver's license, or have you used the Metro at all? I don't know. I got it now. <laughs> yeah. You got your driver's license? Yeah, yeah Oh, congrats. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank how's, you. How's thank it you driving in that. D.C.? It sucks, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. people are a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. How does your wrist feel? Feels great. Uh, I feel confident. Uh, there is no problem at all. Uh, this summer I was getting a little sore after the practices, but now I feel really confident, 100% good. How much more comfortable do you feel now that you have a rookie season and a year in the United States under your belt? I feel way more confident. Uh, even like the Olympics, uh, you know, the experience helped me a lot mentally. Um, so, yeah, I feel way more confident. Uh, I know the guys. Uh, I know what's going to happen, too, during the season. So, yeah, I feel way more confident. Be cool. How you doing, man? What up, man? Hey, a um, lot of new faces in the building, a lot of veteran leadership. How important is leadership for a young team going into year two of a rebuild? Oh, it is important. Um, like, the new guys, JEV, Malcolm, uh, Sadik, uh, they've been talking to us a lot. Uh, they are winning guys. Like they, they, they're used to win, so they know what it takes to win. And uh, yeah, they they talk to me a lot, uh, help me a lot on the different things, doing practices. Uh, so I'm learning a lot. Yeah, just like in a month, I've been learning like way more than uh, than I did last year. I think. Good. All right. Thank you. Are you taller now than when you arrived last year here? Yeah. Uh, I did my uh, measurements. Uh, when was it? Like five days ago, probably. So uh, yeah, I'm way taller. Uh, everybody was telling me, "Oh, you grew up," but they tell me that every day. So I was like, "Yeah, probably." And uh, it was facts, actually. So yeah. What are you at? Sorry. How tall are you now? I'm six seven and a half uh, without shoes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with shoes, yeah, I'm 6'9 with shoes. Yeah. Y'all got it. Thank you very much. No problem.